This video is closed captioned. Best things to do in Jamaica. Jamaica is the birthplace of reggae. It is a treasure trove of natural wonders with a vibrant African flavor. The island's excellent assets include white sandy beaches, coral reefs, lush green mountains, blue oceans, tropical jungles, and white rivers. So in today's video, we are going to talk about this beautiful vacation destination, and we will also cover all the expenses that you might incur. All prices are listed in the local currency, which is Jamaican dollars. So depending on when you watch this video, please check the current exchange rate for it. So let us begin. Hello everyone, Anthony here. If you enjoy our videos, join us on our journey around the world by subscribing to my channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new video. First, we are going to start with when you should visit Jamaica. The weather in Jamaica is pleasant all year. With temperatures ranging from the mid-20 degrees Celsius, that's 70 degrees Fahrenheit, to the high 30 degrees Celsius, that's high in the 80s for Fahrenheit, the peak season for the island is from January to March when prices skyrocket all over the place. This is the busiest time on the island. Avoid busy holidays like Christmas, Easter, and spring break to avoid crowds. At most resorts and beaches, though, you will be surrounded by tourists. Prices are also significantly higher. If you want to take advantage of the high temperatures in the shoulder season, we think October to mid-December is the best time to visit. The greatest hotel and flight prices are usually available at this time, and the crowds are thinner. Rafting in the Rio Grande. Now, let's move to the fun part. That is the thing you should do when you reach there. Are you seeking a way to de-stress? Make a reservation for a rafting excursion down the Rio Grande River. Few things are more soothing than gliding gently down a verdant jungle river while being pulled by a skilled guide. This section of the river is also less crowded than the Martha Bray. You can get ice cold drinks to take with you and then sit back and enjoy. As your friendly guide nudges you through the crystal clear waterways, offering stories about the area and navigating the modest rapids with ease as the tropical rainforest drifts by. Rio Grande Rafting Tour charges 15,500 JMD per person for a three hour rafting trip. Okay, travelers, the sponsor of today's video is SEOServiceAgents.com, an SEO agency that delivers results. Based in the USA, they're delivering front page rankings and Google traffic and leads for clients around the world. They help me with my website, rank on the front page of Google, and I'm very pleased with the results. I have negotiated a discount code for all my viewers to get you a 20% discount on your first order with SEOServiceAgents.com. There's a link in the description. The discount code is TRAVELDRONER. Contact them for a free audit today. Thank you, SEO service agents, for sponsoring this video. Now, let us continue with the video. Snorkeling. A diverse range of marine life can be found along Jamaica's northern coast. Snorkeling here will allow you to witness coral, stingrays, lionfish, barracuda, and other marine life. With many scorpion fish, lettuce sea slugs, and nurse sharks, Ocho Rios is another exciting snorkeling destination. The cost of a guided excursion starts at roughly 5,000 JMD. Explore the Green Grotto. The Jamaican countryside is littered with over 1,000 caves. The most well-known is the Green Grotto Caves on the North Shore. Caves are composed of limestone, and the green algae that give the cave its name have been etched into the walls by the tides. You'll travel through a forest of stalactites and stalagmites as you make your way through the cave. When the English invaded Jamaica in the 17th century, Spaniards sought refuge here. The cost of admission is 2,950 JMD per person. Explore Kingston. Kingston, Jamaica's capital is a rough and tumble environment. It's well worth a day or two's visit. Look for historical landmarks such as Devon House, built in the Jamaican Georgian style, which was characteristic of plantation buildings built by colonists during the slave trade. It costs 1,775 JMD to attend, and admission includes your choice of snack or beverage. The Bob Marley Museum, located near the reggae superstar's former house, is one of the most popular sites to visit here. The Trench Town Culture Yard Museum, located in the neighborhood where reggae music was born, is also a must-see for reggae aficionados. Emancipation Park, a palm-studded green space in the heart of the city, has regular music concerts, while National Heroes Park houses monuments of key figures in Jamaican history and freedom. The village of Port Royal, located at the extremity of the peninsula around Kingston Harbor, was the focal point of British fortification in the late 17th century. Climb Dunn River Falls. 
Dunn's River Falls, with 180 meters of softly terraced cascades, is one of Ocho Rio's most popular attractions. Over rocks and limestone ledges, these lovely falls drop into the sea. With the help of a guide, you can climb the natural tiers to the top of the falls and cool off in the pleasant pools at the bottom. Water shoes and apparel that you don't mind getting wet are excellent options. Try to visit during the off-season to escape the thousands of cruise ship tourists. This is one of Jamaica's most famous waterfalls and a popular tourist site. Explore Dunn's River Falls and Bob Marley's Nine Mile Tour for a fantastic full day adventure. This tour includes a stop at Nine Mile District, the birthplace of Bob Marley, and a guided climb up to the Dunn's River Falls, as well as a slide or dip in the natural pools. The cost of admission for the falls is 3,700 JMD. Zip lining is available here for 3,900 to 4,900 JMD per person if you prefer adrenaline activities. Swim the Blue Hole If you appreciate the rush of adrenaline, this is the place to be. The Blue Hole is a succession of magnificent water holes fed by flowing cascades high in the rainforest cloaked highlands west of Ocho Rios. It's also known as the Island Gully Falls or the Erie Blue Hole. You'll be guided throughout the area, where you will be able to investigate the falls and plunge down cliffs into the cool pools below. The further you hike up the falls, the fewer people you'll likely see, but navigating the trial might be difficult. Because the experience includes clambering across slick rocks, water shoes are recommended. The cost of admission is 3,700 JMD. You can also enjoy river tubing or bamboo rafting for an additional cost. Just keep in mind that there is no place to put your baggage, so if you don't have access to a car, carry a waterproof bag to keep your items dry in while you swim. Black River Safari The Black River, which is surrounded by mangroves, is Jamaica's longest river, and you may take a guided boat excursion to see it. Nature enthusiasts will be overjoyed. Crocodiles and more than 100 species of birds, including herons and white egrets, call this place home, and you can learn more about the ecology and history of the area on the trip. The picturesque YS Falls is Jamaica's greatest cascades and are commonly coupled with the Black River for trips. This is a great place to go if you're seeking activities to do in Jamaica with kids. Some of the seven waterfalls cascade into tranquil natural pools, perfect for a refreshing plunge on a hot day. One of the pools is also ideal for kids. You may also play Tarzan on the rope swing and jump into a natural spring-fed wading pool below. River tubing and zip lining are also offered. It costs around 20,000 JMD to book this tour, but it is worth the money. Rainforest Adventures Mystic Mountain, Ocho Rios. Are you looking for a rush of adrenaline? Zip lines will take you into the treetops, and Bobsled Jamaica, a single-person roller coaster ride through the forest, will take you down the mountain. A chairlift that ascends the mountain, the Sky Explorer, provides panoramic views of the town and the sea. The Sky Explorer, a chairlift that ascends the mountain, offers panoramic views of the town and the sea. Guided nature walks, butterfly and hummingbird gardens, a ropes course, rides, and infinity pool and water slide and a climbing wall are among the other attractions. The premium package is around 30,000 JMD. Martha Bray While we said that rafting in Martha Bray is going to be a crowded affair, it still is a wonderful experience. You may glide down a scenic stretch of the river in bamboo rafts pulled by native guides at Martha Bray Rafters Village. This relaxed journey is a terrific way to take in some of the tropical beauty, and you can even buy souvenirs or beverages from local merchants along the way. Best of all, some of the guides will entertain you by singing reggae songs or presenting interesting facts about the flora and wildlife during the excursion. This is a popular day trip from Montego Bay and Ocho Rios. You can also do this from Negril, but getting to the Martha Bray Rafting Village, where the tour begins, takes around two hours one way. A rafting tour for two people is around 28,000 JMD. Visit the Blue and John Crow Mountains National Park. For its unique natural and cultural legacy, the beautiful Blue and John Crow Mountains National Park were included on the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 2015. This unspoiled preserve offered a stunning landscape and was once a shelter for former slaves and indigenous Taino who fled here to escape enslavement. You can visit jungle-clad mountains, waterfalls, beautiful rainforests, and coffee plantations inside its borders. The wildlife is equally spectacular. 
The park is home to over 800 indigenous plant species, 200 bird species, and the world's second largest butterfly, the Homerus swallowtail. Getting around the park may be a thrilling experience in and of itself because the roads and terrain are rugged, especially after rain. Four-wheel drive vehicles and or experienced guides are strongly advised. A trip to Jamaica's tallest mountain, 2,256 meters high, Blue Mountain Peak, is a highlight of any trip here. On a clear day, you can see all the way to Cuba. Enjoy those breathtaking views. The majority of sightseeing tours begin in Kingston. The entrance cost to the national parks is 3,000 JMD, payable at the ranger stations. The tour fee then varies from group to group. Birdwatch at Cockpit Country. There are 150 resident bird species in Jamaica, with 29 of them being indigenous to the island. Cockpit Country, just southeast of Montego Bay, is home to almost 110 different kinds of cockpits, black-billed parrots, endangered Jamaican blackbirds, and Blue Mountain Vireos are among the birds to look out for. The area is green and picturesque, with dissolved limestone sinkholes and several rivers. Stop by and take some unforgettable pictures. We hope you enjoyed this video. Which place would you like to visit from the list? Let us know in the comment section below the video. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you will be the first to know when we publish a new video. Thanks for watching.